So the time has finally come. Stadia Connect is coming on the first one of many from what we understand. And we finally have some details on what Google is doing, when they're gonna roll out Stadia, their cloud streaming gaming service, some of the games that are gonna be included with that initial launch, how much it's gonna cost. So a lot of the questions we had surrounding it are gonna get answered. But I also wanna talk briefly about why it is I think that Stadia in general is going to change gaming forever. This video is brought to you by NordVPN. They are the VPN of choice for lots of Chromebook users and Android users, iOS users. Works on all platforms and will secure your browsing whether you're at home or on the go. If you'd like to learn more about them and their service, go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN to get started today. So first up, let's talk about what was announced at Stadia Connect. They basically answered a lot of the questions surrounding Google's new cloud gaming service and hopefully made a lot of people a little bit less skeptical about the entire thing. So first up, they gave us a launch date. Not a firm launch date, but at least November is what they're saying. So instead of just sometime in 2019 or by the end of the year, we know it's going to be coming in November. And when it shows up, there's a, a lot of games that are coming along with it. And they flashed up a ton of stuff, but some notable ones. You got Doom. You got a new Tom Clancy uh, Ghost Recon game. They did a huge trailer for it. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11. All of these, you can go to Stadia.com and see a whole list of games already that have signed on. They're ready to launch with Stadia. And probably the most notable of those is Destiny 2 from Bungie. And it, it has everything, all the downloadable content, all that stuff is going to come along with it if you're a pro level subscriber. And so, well, what does that mean? They're going to be a base level subscription model that will work sometime next year that won't launch at the beginning part of this. So you'll have to at least pay something to start with when this launches in November. But the pro level comes with a handful of games. So Destiny 2 would be the first one. And they haven't exactly said what other games will just come with that subscription model. But Destiny 2 is a pretty big title to be along for the ride right at the beginning. And expect to see other titles like that showing up that you can just play based on your subscription. You don't have to go and buy that game. But then if you choose to go buy a game, if, if it's available on Stadia, you can buy it. And that game belongs to you. And you can play it on any device that you choose to use it on. Later on, when the base level, the free level, comes along basically the only thing you'll be able to do is choose what game you want buy that game play that game so the pro version is more for people that you know maybe just want to experiment and try different games out and play some stuff that maybe you wouldn't have thought to play before like i probably wouldn't go buy destiny but hey if it's going to be available in the pro version I'm going to do that because I've already bought into this thing because of the Founders Edition. And so that's this thing they're rolling out that has uh, a couple little freebies. Well, not freebies. You're technically paying for them, but some stuff that you can't get in any other way. So the Founders Edition comes with uh, a custom controller that will only be for people who bought into the Founders Edition. It's this midnight blue look. It looks kind of like the Pixel uh, Slate in its color. And it's only going to be available for those who go ahead and pre-order that now, which you can do at stadia.com. Additionally, you will get a Chromecast Ultra to stream in 4K onto your television. You also get three months of the Pro, so $9.99 a month. That's also included in there. And then you get a Buddy Pass that you can share three months of Stadia Pro with whoever you want to. You can just share it with them and you can get somebody who may not be completely sold on the idea of Stadia and cloud gaming in general and let them come and play along with you for three months. So what makes me think that Google has this down or that they're going to be able to deliver? Well, two things specifically. And the first is kind of what we've already talked about thus far in this video and what Google's already putting on their website. The fact that they have big, big name developers that don't put out crummy games. They put out big games for big consoles, for the, the most ardent gamers. They already have them bought, sold, and on Stadia. That fact alone tells me that they've been able to show these guys, these game developers, big game developers, that this thing is legit and that it's going to work and that people aren't going to get on there and be like, yeah, I've, I've got my subscription, I got my controller, and they go to play and things are laggy and, and just garbage because ultimately they're not going to tie their names to something like that if they know out of the box it's just not going to work. So reason number two, I believe that Stadia can pull off this whole cloud gaming thing comes down to this little box right here. And no... Stadia won't hinge on the Shield TV being any good or not because I don't even know if they even are going to have an Android TV app to begin with. They said there'd be an Android app for the Pixel phones at first. 
but you know it's cast enabled maybe you can cast your games to it just like you would with chromecast all that aside none of that really matters for what i'm talking about right now the point is i've been really skeptical about cloud gaming and for good reason every time i tried it even with this thing a couple years ago it just was not good. There was too much lag and it was not playable for anything, action games, anything like that. For whatever reason, a couple weeks ago, I bought another one of these. I needed it for a completely different scenario. I loaded up GeForce Now, which is NVIDIA's cloud gaming service, hooked up a mouse keyboard, hooked in the ethernet cable and, and loaded up Apex Legends just because I've never gotten to play it. I don't have a console. And to my surprise, it ran perfectly. Not just the game running perfectly, all of the inputs were precise and accurate and lag free. So I loaded up Fortnite, tried it, played a few rounds. I'm not great at Fortnite, but I did pretty well and there was no lag. I didn't have to worry about the console being the problem. And here I am running Fortnite and then I, I put PUBG on there. I'm running all of these things in what amounts to a $120 Android TV box because this doesn't matter. It was all running on NVIDIA servers and it was running precisely as you would expect it to as if I was playing the game locally in my house. And that's NVIDIA servers. That's NVIDIA stuff. And I'm not knocking NVIDIA at all. Like they've done something really cool with GeForce Now. But if NVIDIA can pull this off, if they can do it that well and it's that enjoyable to play, what in the world is Stadia going to be like with all of Google's server powers, with all of Google's ability to deal with codecs and videos and all these different devices? How good is Stadia going to be if gaming on this thing is really, really great already? So bringing it all back around, Am I saying that you know Stadia is hinging somehow on this thing or that I've tried Stadia and I know for sure it's gonna work perfectly? No, not at all. But cloud gaming works awesome on this thing and if you want a taste of cloud gaming right now, I would say go grab a Shield TV from your local Best Buy and give it a try and convince yourself as well that it's possible. It is possible to have cloud gaming with little to no latency that doesn't get in the way of the gaming experience. And if Nvidia can do it, Google is absolutely going to crush it with Stadia and I cannot wait until November because I believe because of Google's reach and the money they have invested and all their servers and all of their research and all of the data that they have and all the developers that are already on board, Stadia stands in a spot that I don't think any other service stands to change gaming forever. Guys, if you like this video and you like videos like this, give this a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, make sure and click that bell icon so you can be notified of videos like this in the future. But until next time, we'll see you.